Jesus. Yep. Audio flyer. Let me know when it's engaged. It's engaged. Old leather gloves, we slapping in hands. Popcorn and peanuts, we're working the stands. Pink cut candy, love on a stick. He's chasing the beer. The circle the lips, play ball. Play ball. Love at the bases and smack it right over the wall. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Laughter Saves Live. Live! Live. Yes. Here on Facebook Live and Strong Island TV. We're here today with Sheba Mason. Hello. She's to my right. It looks like to my left on the screen. It's backwards. John Santa, who's working with three devices here. And Patty G is here tonight. Um, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a fun show with Chiba. We'll talk a little bit. Oh, and Met Mediterranean Diner sent over. Uh, Who? The, the, the Massapequa Diner. We just lost the sponsor. We just lost the sponsor. Because the, the, the I go to Mediterranean. I lived in a Mediterranean Diner. They're good too. Massapequa Diner sent over some food. Uh, they sent over some and their mugs. Some French fries and some mozzarella. mozzarella sticks. Sticks. So mozzarella. basically, they want to kill me. Mo That's what they mozzarella. want to do. Mozzarella for our New York audience. Mozzarella for everybody on the right. That's right. The delicious Mas food at the Massapequa Diner. They have delicious food. They do. And it's so terrific. Thank it's you. It's unbelievable food. Beautiful. Even the president. Beautiful. Uh, our Although, week. Not lately. Our week. Let's talk a little bit about weeks, Dunads. We we always like to bring on a female because we used to have them just as Pat's as chooches. Three freaking chooches or four chooches, chooches on the yeah. show, right? Yep. So we always like to bring somebody to mix it up a little bit. Sheba, you're the mixer. Oh, okay. You're the mixer yeah, tonight. A little grace, some beauty, keep some us, chum. Keep us in line because we're just a bunch of uh, idiots. Do not. Yes. So my daughter's prom and graduation was this week. Wow. Yes. Prom the, and graduation from what? It was what? beautiful. Of high school. Okay. Well, the money know. was just flowing out every time. She said, I need to read my hair. I need this. She looked stunning. And wow. I'm not just saying. You saw the picture. John, she, I, it would, respectfully, she looks like a model. She She's really, just and the gorgeous. dress, she really looked Beautiful girl. Really you need great. a shotgun is what you need. But you Pretty know much, what? Yeah. You know what? As a father, as a father who's raised this little kid, I was so happy that she was so happy and excited. Yeah. It wasn't like, oh, I'm going to the prom. I got to get this. Get, get. She was just so happy to go. And she's going. With, she went with a nice boy, you know, and, and they came home safe. I, you know, that's, that's what parents the always thing. worry yeah. about. Yeah. They were going to the Copacabana. If I hear What's it's the, the Copacabana? It's the hottest spot north of Havana. No. Isn't that the thing with Lola. Isn't that where Lucio, right. Lucy and Ricky? In the city? They, 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 yes, they yeah. went in the city. John, was that? I'm sorry. Was that I Love Lucy? No, that wasn't where the prom was. That was the after prom. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. That was, was that I Love Lucy's club? Was no, that the club no, of Cabana? no, no. Cobra Cabana has been around forever. Yeah. Yeah. Ever. Oh, I it's mean, a Barry Manilow song. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I said. The oh, hottest. Oh, right, you right. With I saw Lola. Barry Manilow. Oh. You missed the whole joke, right? Okay. The hottest John by was, North right, of Havana. Was, was that Olivia singing on the... Um, Olivia sang the national oh, anthem at graduation. Oh, she that sounded terrific. I got to say. You know, she just tried. It was beautiful. I said yeah. to her, babe, think of the veterans at the hospital. When we go to the hospital and we do shows at the hospital, she was feeding one of the veterans the last time we were there, my little one. Just beautiful. I took a picture of it. It was just... You know, just say to watching the show laughing and feeding this guy. And I said, don't try to nail the song. Because she doesn't sing it off. And I said, just think of the guys in the hospital. And let it flow. And let it flow how these guys would be so proud of it. And she, I got so many compliments on that. She did a great job. So it was a nice night. But I screwed up. How? No. Sheba. John, she you? Was gonna, she was going to get upset at me at this problem. Uh -oh. I wasn't feeling good the day before. She wanted to go out to dinner, so I said, no problem, babe. Let's just change it so it's on the way home, because I had to get up at 4.45 the next morning to teach in Connecticut. She get, Afterwards, oh, Dad, they wanted to go back to the high school and take pictures. I go, your sister, Erin, came in. No, let's not take... Now I'm thinking, it's her only graduate. All of, a few of her friends went to the high school to take pictures, and I stopped her from going. Oh. oh. But you know what? She didn't oh. really. Oh, oh, Let's do it again together. Oh. oh. Jeez, thanks. Does she miss out on all those pictures? So I didn't Bob really. Babalu. Babalu was, Bob the, was that the yes. club? Yes. 
That's the name he, of the club was the Babalu? I think so, yeah. Yes, it was. Yeah. Who's that? So we'll, we'll get to, is that, that's not on the screen yet. We'll talk oh. about that in a second. <laughs> so, um. That's the greenest So you know what, did you know what my daughter did? Uh, that, she now didn't make, she didn't make a big stink. You know what I mean? She didn't make a big stink. Till the day after. Till I, till I can feel and terrible Until it was now. too late. Instead of saying, oh. Dad, I'm going. It's important, right? And that, I would have said, oh, baby, it's your day. Go. I really would have. Yeah. You go, but it's your day. She like, oh, Dad, it's okay. It's okay. So I went, all right. Cause I, you know, and then the next day, my other, my other daughter, oh, I can't believe you didn't like. Do you know what she's doing? She's a, don't forget, a daughter is a wife in training, right? So she's manip manipulating Guilty, and maneuvering. Yeah. No, she's That's what they like do. That. No, no, you know what? Full blame right here. Full John, blame. John, there's worse things a dad could have done. Oh, I know, okay. I know, so, but I, I really feel bad. Yeah. I feel bad. So, <laughs> well, why, you know what's the last time? The Jackie time. Mason like, musical as we get yeah, up the so topic. Yeah, about that. We'll, we'll get there in a sec. Um, so that was that. Um, yesterday, I didn't get, uh, Bobby, here's the picture of my grandson. Bobby, put this picture on. This is my best friend now in life. This is the only one that listens to me. Uh, my daughter's, my son out, nobody, and this is, he's- I the, listen to you. He is in the front of the line now. My kid's back in line. Leave this all is your my money best to him. Friend. He is my buddy. He's so much fun. So we dusted off the old wig that I had for my daughter. Bob, you have the video of that where I pulled him for an hour yesterday. Every time I stopped, he did not. Show the, show the video. It's quick. It's a few seconds. Oh, today's Johnny plug. Get my steps in as I have the guys tied into my belt and I'm pulling them behind me on a wagon. There's a rope, see it? In my belt, pulling the guy. There's Bachi back there and Paula also. That's the way to get steps. That's the way to get steps, guy. Now, my Fitbit steps should be double for that, right? Because I'm behind now I was gonna in ask my you, competition. How do you do that? How do you account for the additional weight? There's no way to account for it. There should be. It should, should be a be, factor. Because right? I'm in a competition. Yeah. And I was pulling that the kid. Multiply the and, times two. And the dog got so tired of walking <laughs> that my wife threw the dog. Here the, it is. The, now the put dog, the dog is in, in the there. wagon. I love it. The, the, yeah, the dog was in there for half the trip. How much is the dog? And worth? that's why Sheba, I don't look fifty nine. Because I'm doing stuff like that. He's doing all right? of the exercise. It's fantastic. How old does my wife look, John? Because she's watching right now. Say how old, how old she looks. 25, 20 years. Can we see Mrs. here one more time? Good answer. I thought your wife oh, was listen, under 30. We don't 30. have to look at my wife a second time, Pat. I don't know. No, I, well, no, because she can't be older than I thought your wife she was She can't be older than, than 30 in that picture. I thought picture. that was my other daughter. I couldn't tell. Yes. Oh, that's so, not your older daughter? Okay. Yeah, no, 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 no. So, uh, Johnny, uh, Johnny, any show? Johnny. Oh, Johnny. John. No, John. John. Johnny. Johnny. Don't uh, call me Johnny. Remember? Fat J. My mother called me. Fat J. Here we go. Here's the picture next. You can bring that up, Bobby. Fat J and Ca um, Carol Montgomery. You, Fat J. The is day of my daughter's graduation. They did the. the they did the veteran, the veteran show, show on Sunday for me. Sheba, you did it oh. once. Did you do it once? You mean at the hospital? Yeah. No, I haven't done it yet. Okay, you, no. August 24th. So, um. <laughs> August 24th. We'll get you there. We'll get, they're going to love you. You should say that Fat J is a <laughs> stage name. Fat Jay is a stage name. His real name is Very Fat Jay. Very Fat Jay. He doesn't like to be called he's Very Fat nice Jay. He likes too. to be called. No, he said to me, my name is Fat Jay. I go, Jay, I'm not going to call it's you Fat Jay. Name. And then I met him in person. I said, I'm going to call you Fat Jay. So I don't know if it's appropriate. But nice guy. He ran the show for me, brought the backdrop. And he said, as most comics, you don't love the show. It's only about seven guys to 12 guys, yeah. some family members. And you, we really get so much out of it just talking to them. That's Allegra, I think, from just California. Just talking to them. That should be Let me, uh, pick uh, up Allegra the Barnett. Hello, Allegra from California. Hello, is this uh, John LaRocchia? This is John Santo and John LaRocchia. And this is John LaRocchia. <laughs> Hi, Allegra. Thank oh you. God. Thank you so much for calling in. I, I have to say that I fell in love with this chick today. I was watching her videos for the first time because I know Allegra's name and I've seen her on the TV show, The Tube, and all that. And, I, and she's doing these cute little videos lately. And you know how busy I am. I don't click on everybody's videos. So I said, let me click on her. She looks cute. Let me see. You know, I'm a guy, typical guy, right? Oh, my God. She's just so natural and so fun. Somebody would say, come on, let's go bowling with her. Let's play darts. With, you know, and I loved it. <laughs> So I said to her, would you mind calling in tonight and, and just talking about one of your things? And she did. And she did. So tell us, yeah, a, tell us about one of your latest videos, um, something that was bugging you or, or whatever. 
Yeah. Well, you saw the one I had today because I went to the supermarket. I'm always at the supermarket because I'm a I love food. <laughs> We well, all do. Look at it. But the thing is that our supermarket California. here, we got Ralph. Right. And when you register your Ralph's card online, you get Friday deals. And so every Friday, you get something for free and you can download it. So I got a free bread. And I, I'm trying not to eat bread free because it's LA and they murder you if you're fat. So I just I got the free bread. I'm like, I'm going to give it to a homeless person. And I was driving around for like an hour trying to find a homeless person. I couldn't find them. When I don't have the bread, Homeless people are everywhere. It's like a tent city. The second they get a bread, they, they've all got jobs. <laughs> That's so, cute. Allegra is from actually from Long Island. Well, yeah, where and Allegra, she moved you, to California. Yes. What is your What is your background, Allegra? Um, well, I I'm actually I'm originally from Long Island. I I grew up in North Massapequa. I went to Farmingdale High School. I uh, I went to the Bolsey's Cultural Arts Center back when it used to be called that. Right. And uh, yeah, I've. Uh, I've lived in New York. I've lived in Texas. I've been in L.A. for a while, but I kind of go back and forth because I was living on Long Island again on and off for a couple of years while I was working on Kevin Can Wait. Look at and, you dropping uh, names. Have you ever seen her stand up act? It's phenomenal. I was watching this afternoon. She's hilarious. Oh, thanks a lot. Thanks yeah. a lot. Yes, yeah, so, uh, so is John Santo. Yes, because oh. I, I said, hey, maybe I'll put you in a firehouse because I'm in L.A. I'm in L.A. So, so when Allegra, do you ever come back? Or, I mean, unfortunately, know. we know that what about the Kevin Kuwait situation, but are you going to be back at all? Because you should definitely put her in your shows. She's hilarious. Yeah, I'm, um, you know, I'm a little bit on the fence. There's a possibility that I might come back, like, at the end of July. But it's not, it's not set in stone yet. I kind of have a few things to, you know, sort of plug in, make sure I get enough, you know. Well, you know what? In that area. You know where to find me now. So when you are coming back, um, you let us know, and hopefully we'll get you on the we show. We can have her on this show. We'll have her on this show, too. Sure. I oh, love yeah. our, our studios are right near where you grew up. We're in Massapequa. So Do you know very... Sheba Mason? We have Sheba Mason on tonight. There I am. Oh, cool. You know, I, that's another name that I've heard for years, and I've never, I've never met her. <laughs> I, you know, that's how and dopey, that's a shame. We and that's how, that. how dopey uh, us Long Island old <laughs> Italian chuchis are. We think, oh, you, you've been in the city, she was in the city, you guys hang out, everybody knows everybody. So I, I thought you may know her. Yeah, you know what it was? I feel like she was more, pro like I started hearing her name the first time I moved out, because I was living in the city for years, and then the first time I moved out, I started hearing her name. And then when I'd come back in town, it was kind of a shorter stint. So I wasn't really meeting too many new people. It was more so just, you know, doing shows with friends, doing shows with people I kind of knew already. And then I wasn't really, you know, part of a scene per se. I was just kind of, you know, getting plugged into shows and then going about my way. Well, um, thank you for calling in, even though I asked you probably about 45 no, minutes ago. I don't know why that's, you know what? I cherish this because I don't call people anymore. I'm sure you guys are like everything right. text. Like yeah. you're a human being's voice. It's like I feel like, you know, in 2018, the only reason to call somebody is you're selling something or you've kidnapped Liam Neeson's daughter. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like She's very thing. witty. She we, is. We, That's we why a, I like the videos. We did a show at a restaurant and it was uh, a comic got married that, that uh -huh. day and Allegra just tore it up. She's good. Yeah, She's, She's good. very good. So thank you for calling Thanks, in. Well, Stay yeah, in touch. Yeah. Find and, me and online. Tell, tell all your listeners. I'm on Instagram, oddly enough, not as Allegra Barnett. I'm Faces in Toilets because I'm a retard, and I had to call myself Faces in Toilets. <laughs> those but are very yeah, funny, by the way. All right, we'll yeah. check those out. Okay, Thanks, good. Allegra. Hey. Okay, bye, my friend. Thanks, Allegra. Take care. Bye. So Thank let's, let's um, bring up Sheba Mason. Let's bring on Sheba. <clears throat> okay. And we should talk about the musical. Well, we're going to definitely talk about that. Okay. I wanted to talk a little bit about Sheba Mason first. Oh. Um, and then we're gonna bring up, we're gonna bring in her mom in a little while. Um, <laughs> so, Sheba, where did you grow up? Well, me, I'm, um, I'm from uh, Miami. Originally. Okay. I grew up uh, in Miami and Boca, Boca Raton. Right. Oh, sure. Where old Jews go to die. And but you, <laughs> you survived. You, you came north. I survived. I came up before I got <laughs> to be a really old Jew. So here I am, <laughs> and now I live in the city. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> and you started doing stand-up comedy. Because Jackie Mason obviously was a stand-up comic that a lot of the young people don't know who he is. You know, we, thank well, God you have three well, old chooches here. We why don't we? Why doesn't she tell us her relation? Yes. Well, yeah, I started doing. Com I moved to New York City when I was 18, and I started doing comedy when I was 19. 
Um, I took a class actually with Buddy Flip. Oh, sure. Buddy I, was, Flip, I had sure. always been Buddy on stage Flip, yeah. my sure. whole life. I had done theater and stuff. I was in, you know, musical theater and I sang and stuff like that. And um, I worked in the South Florida condo circuit from the time I was six years old with a comedian oh, wow. named Frankie Mann, who's now passed away. Uh -huh. And then um, when I moved here, I took Buddy Flip's comedy class. I was working as a waitress, actually, at the comedy club. And he said, you'll take my class. And he kind of helped me skip some steps, you know. In sure. Yeah. Yeah. Is anybody yeah. in your family into comedy? <clears throat> Anybody in my family? Oh, you mean yeah. Jackie Mason? Does <laughs> yeah, yeah, anybody yeah. know who? Very subtle, way of very subtle intro. Just, just we, we haven't introduced. We haven't yes, Jackie, said what the relationship is. How, yeah. did, how did? How did? How did your relationship start with Jackie Mason? Like what? How did that whole situation start? That he's your he's your biological father, correct? Yeah, he's my father. Okay, Thank you. He was with my mother for ten years, and that's what this play is all about. This play tells a story. It's, um, okay, so you know, she met him at Wolfie's Delicate. Say with the plays, say with the plays. It's called The Jackie Mason Musical, and it's a cast of eight people. It's not like a one-woman show. People okay. always think it is, okay. and it's not at all. Right, right. You know, and there's, like, songs in it called The Early Bird Special. You know, it's like a Broadway-style musical. Mm -hmm. Cool. And uh, I play my mother, and she did date Jackie for ten years, and he would see her every winter season when he happened to be in Florida and stuff like that. She was traveling with him when she was okay. pregnant. Yeah. And Where it goes it? through the paternity suit. There's a song in it called I Never Met This Yenta. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. And then, uh, yeah, so it's at the studio theater. So did he, did he um, acknowledge that he was your father initially? or No, he didn't. So that's paternity? why she had to take him for paternity. Right, that's, I, that's why. Oh, yeah. I oh, didn't so want to bring up bad things. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, but we're, no letting, we're letting she, that's why, if I that's why a, we're letting she Right, if I bring a topic Sorry. up, a topic that you don't want to discuss, I know you'll tell I'm me. I'm happy to discuss it. Sure. Right. I actually have a joke in my act where I say, actually, our relationship is getting a lot better. We're getting a lot closer. Like last week, I saw him on the street, and he actually recognized me. <laughs> and I know he recognized me because the minute he saw me, he ran the other way. <laughs> so, yeah, so we're not, um, you know, we're just not really close, and that's his choice, and that's okay. I've accepted it. So have you, have you ever had a, a dinner with him or an extended conversation? Nothing. No. Nothing. Really? A little bit of an extended conversation one. Uh -huh. okay. So I met him um, when I was eight years old, and then I met him again when I was like uh, 19, because I was bartending in the Broadway theaters uh -huh. at Spam a lot. I was, right. you know, right. and I saw him coming out, <clears throat> and he was friendly, but uh, nothing really materialized. And he told me to come to his house the next day, so I got there, and they told me he moved. <laughs> so. He moved <laughs> during the night, or yeah, like he moved overnight. No. <laughs> you can't make that up. He said, come to my hard. house tomorrow. And I came. Come to my house. <laughs> they said he moved. He didn't have to tell you to come to his house. He was going to move. <laughs> All right, so so that's it. so that had nothing to do with you doing stand up comedy. Um, well, sure. I mean, I grew up, you know, um, watching his act, you know, on on TV. I saw him a couple of times in person performing. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it had some influence on right, him. Sure. Right, right. Yeah. That's a shame that he never, you know, could yeah. acknowledge it, you as a comic or and say, hey, nice, nice set. Yeah. Now, you know? well, now the good part is, though, like, the gigs I get, like, when they can't afford Jackie Mason, they hire me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so I get the gigs. That's <laughs> funny. Does, does he have any other children? No, I'm his only child. Really? Yeah, really? And only he, child. Oh, my God. He must oh. be close to about 90 years old, right? He's getting up there, yeah. Yeah, it's gotta yeah be. he's close to 90. Got to be. Got to yeah. be, yeah. He's an old 50s, 60s. Yeah. Yeah. Jackie Mason. Yeah. Yeah. Very I mean, I wasn't close with my father either. My father, my parents divorced, but he, he acknowledged, I mean, that's a lot tougher. Like, he didn't even, like, you haven't even well, had conversations with him. Especially being that she's yeah. so, I mean, she's so funny. She's good. Yeah. It's not oh, like, thank you. it's not like she's, you know, oh, I'm trying to stay up comedy because my dad did it. She's a comic on her own. She doesn't have right. to use the last name Mason to get booked. Right. You oh, know, thanks, you thanks. know what I mean? I, I, I Initially, when somebody said, oh, Jackie Mason's daughter, I go, oh, what the hell? Now, when I book her, I'm not even thinking that she's Jackie Mason's daughter. I'm thinking she's somebody that's going to add to my show. Right, right. Oh, she's going to add to my show and make people laugh and make me look good because I booked it. You know? right. Oh, that's really sweet. No, I Thank mean you. that. I mean that. Yeah, you no, really I've seen do a nice few job. Times. We've done a few shows together. And, yeah. And I'm Long Island. hilarious. Oh, yeah, thanks. I did a couple of shows. I met you at a gig. Uh, I remember. I think about I 10 years. We were. About 10, nine, 10 years ago. And very yeah. and you're very professional. You're very prompt. Yeah. You know, it's it's so nice booking people like that. That just and appreciative. You know, you're appreciative. Not that I'm any nobody in this business, but she always makes me feel important. You know, she'll be like, "Oh, you thank are you important. so much." I'm not. I'm as important I as love the, the rest. The firehouse shows are fun. They are fun. The firehouse, firehouse are fun. shows are great. Yeah. yeah. I always well, we, say about firehouse shows, 
they want to laugh. Yes. Now, yeah. some comedy clubs, I feel like it's make me laugh. Yes. Yeah. I'm here at a comedy yeah. club, and I'm paying money and paying, you know, $8, $10 for drinks. Make me laugh. Where the firehouse people, the local people, coming out yeah. with their friends to have a good time. And they're raising money usually. Right, uh, for, for a yeah. decent cause and all that. So it's but you real. kill at the clubs, you kill at the firehouse, you kill at the theater. You kill everyone. Oh, oh you mentioned the K word. Uh -oh. No, he can say. He, oh, I'm saying it about him right, right. and her. And you too. I always say to him. Yeah, you're great too. I saw you kill last time. Well, we we had a great killed. show in Rome. Let's talk a great show. Yeah, in you great let's, too. let's talk a little bit yeah. more about me. <laughs> what I said to John is, never say you killed you yourself. You killed, right. If uh -huh. you're that good, everybody else is going to be saying you killed. You could just, I always say, I did my job. Right. I did a yeah. good job. The audience was great. No, you don't want to walk around saying, oh, I right. killed, I killed. Right. And I always say, other people said I killed last night. No, you still can't <laughs> say that. We don't mention Bobby, the let's, keyword. Let's, um, let's do our life back commercial and bring out um, Sheba's mom. So, uh, can I can't call her that? Sure. Oh. Well, we, she probably has a regular name that we uh, should uh, Jasmine. Use. Ginger. Ginger. I'm sorry. Let's bring out Ginger. <laughs> Jasmine. We'll do the act, to the Life Act commercial. Um, life I'm the guy that ke tries to keep things straight. He's a brilliant guy, but sometimes, you know, he's so brilliant. He I, I should have wrote down your name. I'm You're sorry. like that genius, like an Einstein, yes. that you need, uh, like, an Where assistant. Right here. Right here is good. Right here. What, what's, are we running the Life Act commercial, guys? <laughs> nope. Not yet. We're going to run the life. All right, you know what? It's probably come on once I start reading. That was an awkward commercial. transition, but let's roll with it. Eh, it's us. It's real. We're People real. People like the fact that we're not that savvy. They find that enduring about us. Yeah, All of the research shows that. That's what we say. That they say. they find that by not having All right. like Ginger just came on the set. Normally it would be during a commercial, but people find they, that's why we're lovable. Yeah, anybody can do that. <laughs> no, no, we're not a commercial. We're, we're still be, live. It should be a commercial. It's fine. Why it's fine. It's fine. Um, it's fine. We'll do the life act commercial in, in ten minutes. And we'll do it in yeah five minutes. Before we get before we start talking about this uh, some serious stuff here, I printed out this. It was on Facebook a lot. I don't know if you saw it, and I thought it was kind of funny. Chores by age. They gave us a list. All right, of chores <laughs> by children's ages, and this this would be different, I'm sure, with Sheba and you and my kids and me. When you grew up, um, who did you live with when you were a young child? Her, and my so grandmother was like uh, a father to me. So did did they? Okay, oh. you have the life act commercial ready. Yeah. Okay, so when you're ready, not yet, not yet. Not yet, Mike's on. Um, Mike's on. Mike's on. So when I was when I was a kid. Holy I really don't remember my Holy parents giving me a lot of chores. Like they, I didn't have a chore to take out the car. I don't remember any of this. They Making didn't a tell bed. You, they didn't tell you run into the burning building, put out the fire. No, they didn't tell me any okay. of that. I I don't remember having a lot of chores. And I was a very disciplined child. I lived with my parents. My my dad worked two jobs. Um, I helped out around the house, but I don't remember. Any of doing anything. Well, I was until raised, I was a teenager. I was raised by a single mother, and I had to do everything. Yeah, I so do, what, I had to what do was, everything on this list. What was some of your chores when you were like four to six on there? They, four did to you make six? your bed? Did you make your bed? Mm, I did think you make it, your bed? Maybe the next age group I made my not bed. Really, the next age group. Not four to six. I still not four to don't make my bed. <laughs> well, that's different. As we get older, we revert. We revert. Um, do you remember giving her any chores? Well, because I was the youngest daughter, I never learned any chores. I just watched my sisters do everything. How, how many sisters did you have? Two. Two they sisters? Did it, they did it all. I just sat around and watched. So. How, how much younger? Were you the baby baby? The like, baby. Were you young, like a lot younger? Well, like five years younger than the Oh, that's... Than one. the next... The yeah. Next. Yeah, I was a baby. I never... I, to this day, I still don't know how to clean. <laughs> I'm not coming sure. to your house. Wait a second. <laughs> so they loved you and they treated you like the baby. My mother just never bothered to teach me how to clean. I live in a house now, my own house. I don't even know how to use the oven. I just use it as a library. There you go. There you go. So <laughs> don't you, turn it on when the books are in there. <laughs> that yeah, I know. We have so much stuff in my oven because we have a small kitchen that it takes us a half hour to start to cook. Because you got to pour everything bed. out. The, we gotta, the you know where we put it? We put it on the bed in my bedroom. My house is so small. But I love it. It's mine. It's when I win the lottery, I'm going to buy a bigger house. It's mine. All right, we can get back to this if we have some time Huge. at the end. If we have some time at the end, because I think this is it was well, the, really cute. the laundry is important. I mean, I do laundry today in my house. I didn't do laundry. I'm a great launderer. My son didn't do his own laundry till he went to college. 
No, I started doing laundry 13. And I'm doing laundry a lot. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to do a segment in a future show about the eight different sorts I do for laundry. I do eight different laundries. Yeah, we'll be looking forward to that one. That is going to be <laughs> huge. That'll be right. That'll really the fancy. pinata will move down a notch, right? The pinata move well, down. He did a segment move on up. pinata. If I do my laundry yeah, so bit, your pinata moves up in oh, stature. Why did you do eight different? Why did you my, eight my different? All right, I'll, 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 you're opening up the door here. I'm just gonna say it real quick, and then I'll get more in depth in a future episode. Why don't you say it real quick and never speak about it again? Whites, brights, <laughs> um, sheets, towels, my uh, NFL and MLB jerseys. <laughs> Those are socks, all line socks. dryable. Um, whites, brights, t- uh, towels. All right, I'm sorry, I asked. Okay. So these are all different. <laughs> all different, but I have detailed ways wow. of doing. Each I do. I do one. too. And my laundry two. comes out impeccable. My stuff Mine doesn't shrink. and everybody else's. No, no, no. All right, that, yeah, let, you let, can't let, do it. You got to do match the fabric. It smell good. Oh, fantastic! Fantastic. My let, my, my stuff I looks new. <laughs> She's good. That's why we have it. said? What? She said, does, she goes, does it smell good? like a vaudeville theme yet? She goes, does it smell good? And then she goes, not, not that good. <laughs> well, I'm glad she's here. I just got, I just got, uh, what do you call it? Um, tag teamed? Tag teamed. <laughs> now let's run our main sponsor's commercial life app. On my own show. It's amazing. This is life app. When someone is choking, brain damage can occur after just four minutes. Did you know every five days a child dies because of a choking accident? My name is Art Lee. I invented LifeVac to protect my family. LifeVac is an easy to use suction device with a special one-way valve to help save a choking victim. I care for my dad who's prone to choking. Having LifeVac in my home gives me peace of mind. Protect your family, buy LifeVac now. Thank you, Dad. Call 1-877-LIFEVAC or visit lifevac.net. John is so trying to find it online. We got a message today from LifeVac. Another life was saved yes, today let me pull by LifeVac. I don't know how many. I think he's, it's right either now. twelve or thirteen. We've been keeping we, track. Yeah, we just we just got an email today. Another life was saved by our sponsor, LifeVac. It's a great little device, a wonderful gift to give. Um, being a fireman and knowing how to do the Heimlich maneuver, I haven't I haven't done it in a while. Um, you want me to? Can I practice it on you just once, Shiva? Okay. okay I, 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 shove six of those French fries in your mouth. Um, oh, it's funny you mentioned French fries because I got the story here about the choking. Go ahead. You want to? Yeah. What are they choking? So it says on? I have French fries. You're kidding? Yeah. No, I'm not kidding. I was kidding. I have purchased this uh, for my CPR trainer. It saved my adult disabled son's life today. He was choking on French fries while ah. I was driving on the freeway. He was scared of not moving air. He is in he is in an electric wheelchair and his chair is tied down in the van. If he wouldn't have had this device, it would have taken too long to get him out of the van and out of his chair to do the Heimlich. Wow. It took me seconds to get this the device out, put together, use it, and dislodge the French fry. If it wasn't for Life Act, my son Rhett would not be here. Wow. Thank you and thank God, Tina. Whoa. Wow. What a story. Love it. Wow. Love it. And right. that's I think I think it's either twelve or the thirteenth life saved. They, it's it's doing, in that double digit. They're doing good work. They yeah. really are doing really good work. Really terrific. Congratulations on another life save. Yes. So let's get back now to the Jackie Mason musical. Um, let's talk to, to mom first. Tell us a little bit about how who, whose idea was this? It was actually Jackie's idea a long, long time ago before Shiva was born mm. to write some kind of a screenplay. So he said, once you write a screenplay, you know, you got it made. They give you $20,000. This was a long time ago. So then I just wrote... Um, I just decided, like, because he disappeared during the summer. So I just wrote about him, and then I turned it into a musical. And then through the years, it's like a, it's like a change. It's a work in progress. It evolved. And it evolves. Every time right. you do it, it changes. So you've done it before. I've done it through the years. It's not the only thing I do. But right, right, right. I mean, like, I'm not going to say in my gravestone, here lies the girl who wrote the Jackie Mason. Right, right, right. <laughs> only. Right. But, um, but, you know. I, I wasn't insinuating that. I wasn't oh, insinuating okay, okay. But, um, you know, it changed through the years. It was his idea. Then it just evolved into a musical, and it's called Both Sides of a Famous Love Affair, the Jackie Mason musical, except the both is crossed out, and it's just one side. You gotcha. Don't, you don't, we didn't put it on there. Though. Now, uh, let's now. See if they can see that. I don't know if they yeah, can they see can. it. Okay, so you know what? what? When is it? it we'll when post. is it playing and where? It's playing at the Studio Theater, Lindenhurst, now until July 8th. 
on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And uh, the tickets are, it's doing well. We had an article in the Newsday. Good. And, you mm -hmm. know, it sold like, we didn't expect it to sell out, but it did. Good. And so it's doing well. You mentioned the website. It's the Jackie Mason Musical.com. You can do that. What a website. You can get a ticket there. All right. So now you're using, ja I don't know how this works. You're using Jackie Mason's name on here, but he has absolutely nothing to do with this or, or getting nothing from it. Well, it's about him. Right. That might, it's only about a 10-year segment in his life. Right. From, from your point, point of view. view right. Almost like Alice in Wonderland, all these things sure. are happening around her because he's very unusual. Right. You know, like, you know, like if he calls you up for a date, he says, can you make the date? I say, yeah, you could. He says, good. Show up, and he slams down the phone, and I don't know where to go. Show up. He's just really different. Than well, he moved in the middle of the night when she told her to go to the house. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Well, actually, the doorman told, was told to tell her that he moved. Oh, oh you didn't, why didn't you mention that? We were all like amazed. Well, <laughs> well, why, yeah. but actually, I thought my like, question is, why would he even bother telling her to come over if he wasn't going to accept well, that, he did, Unless he was in front of people and wanted to seem like he was... No, actually, he did tell her and he was in front of the wrong people because he's got people in his life who don't want her near him. And um, they're the ones who told the doorman to oh. say he moved. It's not him. He would have probably been a lot friendlier if he didn't have so many people right. brainwashing him. Right. Mm -hmm. What a shame. Yeah. What a shame. What is missing out on this kid here? Oh. You know? Yeah, she can't even make a bed, though. That's okay. <laughs> My kids don't make beds either. Uh, you know, it's the, it's the little things. That, you know, if, here's, here's what I always say about kid, my kids. Most kids drive their parents crazy at home. All right? Mm -hmm. But when you have strangers or people you kind of know coming up to you, going out of their way to come up to you and go, you know what? You have a really great kid or you have really great kids. Not like you're in a conversation with, oh, yeah, yeah, I know your kids. They're not. I'm talking about when people come. That's a wonderful feeling as, as a parent, you mm -hmm. know. Because for that. you're raising them for society. You're not raising them for you. Right. You're raising them for society. If people say nice things, that's very nice, or the people are very stupid, either one. Yeah. That's an excellent <laughs> point. I never thought of it that way. That's a right, great right, point. Right. It's the it's the hardest job there is to be a good parent. Not a parent, not a father, to be a right. good parent. Because it takes energy, it takes time, you know, and uh, my wife and I made a decision years ago that she wouldn't work full time. She's a nurse. Oh. So we've never gone on fancy vacations. You know, we, we've never had really, I said my house is, is small, it's my house, but it's tiny and, and it's taken us a long time to fix different things. My, my sink in my kitchen has black duct tape on it right now because- That makes it Hamish comfortable. But it's comfortable. my house and my, my, it's my kid's home and we've had a lot of laughs there. And that's what, that's what matters, you know? That's what matters. How many so kids do you have, three? I have three and I have my grandson, he's throwing a picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he lives oh, right yeah. up the block. Oh, really? So I watch him it's two days like a week. It's almost like Raymond. Everybody loves yeah, Raymond. Yeah, yeah. He know. doesn't just look and sound like him. The son yeah, actually yeah. does live across the street. he sounds so much like him. Yeah, absolutely. He sounds and, just and like poor, him. And poor <laughs> Raymond, he, he hears oh, all the time, you sound like John LaRoche. All the time. <laughs> poor, poor Ray Romano. <laughs> we actually have a, a connection. I, I worked with Ray a few times. Oh, you We did. have mutual friends. Because oh. he went to Forest Hills High School in oh. uh, Forest Hills. Uh, he went to Forest Hills High School. He lived in... He lived in Forest Hills. Yeah, he lived in Forest Hills. I lived in Middle Village, but went to Forest Hills High School. So oh. we were around the same age. So he didn't go to Forest Hills High School, but all his friends did. Oh. So when I started doing stand-up, they said, oh, we got a friend doing stand-up. It was Ray Romano, you know. And Ray wasn't Ray yet. He was, you know, and, and I was at the uh, Boston Comedy Club one night, and Ray comes walking in. Hey, we have mutual friends. Oh, yeah, tell her I said hello. Tell her, you know. Yeah. So um, he's That's a good fun. guy. He's a good guy. All right, so let's talk more about Jackie Mason, the musical. So what is anything in this musical that we may go, ooh, that's, that's kind of shocking? Well, um, there is a song, as she mentioned, called Ode to the Early Bird Special, because with this big romance, um, where did we go? We went to the Early Bird Special. He spent a lot of time figuring out which Early Bird Special he was going to go to. Okay, now you're talking the romance between you and him. Me and him, right. Okay. And, like, I found out later on, and this is in the musical, that... Like, he would make a date with me, and then maybe two hours later, he had his friend, Wooly the Schleppalong, say, um, well, he has a business meeting. Then I found out he had a date that same night with another woman, and then another one. He would... He was he would, busy. He was a very, very busy Now, man. this guy, 
Willie. Oh, that was a laugh. <laughs> Willie the Schlepp along. Was that his real name or was was Willie his made up name? His name was Willie, John Willie. Willie. But in my play, he's called Willie, Willie the Schlepp along. Because he was always there. He's always schlepping along. Always there. On Even dates on your dates? With you, 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 he was there? Yeah, he was always there. There was always along. like three people or more. He was always like Willie the Schlepp along. You know, he was always Wow. Because Jackie didn't drive, so this guy drove him around. You know, it was happening right. mostly in Miami. Right. Because that's where I'm from. And like he was always like sh you know schlepping him every place. Mm -hmm. So I found out later, you know, like um, that all this happened, and um, so that so that was unique. And then it was really shocking that um, when we broke up after the ten years, Shiva was one year old. I mean, he was with me when I was pregnant with her. Mm -hmm. uh, he, you know, I never <coughs> realized that his whole when and I and he knew you were pregnant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Very much. So. <laughs> I'm just asking. I'm just asking. I mean, like, you know, the last time you saw right. me when it was like, you know, like this. It right. Was very, because she's late. She was very late. She's always late. I no, mean, she's I, early I, now. She's <laughs> early now. You said she's on time. She's she made the show on time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shows she's on time. But, like, he looked at it, you know, like I hadn't seen him for maybe like a month. And he walked in and he saw it was like huge. He was like, oh, that's such a big thing. What's just such a big thing that you got the oh you know but he <laughs> slept me in, and, was... and still like he would take me around to like the Concord Hotel I was pregnant he never said this is my girlfriend she's pregnant with my child right what he would say is this is my secretary take a look at her she got herself knocked up <laughs> oh my god <laughs> now, instead of saying it was mine right can right, you right. can you uh, can you guys sing a little bit about that song or uh, well well. Um, or I don't you want to put you on the to spot. The early yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah preview for, that for the. Yeah. Can we, can, okay, there's like you, 21 songs, but I'll pick that one. You ready? You ready? You want to sing it? Just, Just a little, little bit. bit. A little bit. I don't want to put you on the spot. Make you don't like want to... the early bird. Okay. Make okay. like the early bird and get it on your plate. The pickles and the pumpernickel rolls. Butter is included, but you better not be late, or you'll pay an extra dollar ninety-eight. <laughs> that kind of thing. And the uh -huh. whole chorus with all kinds of. You know, dancing, and everybody takes the early bird special very seriously. Oh, yes. it's huge yes. in Florida. Yes. Very serious. Yes. Yes. When my grandfather <laughs> lived, he lived not far from uh, Miami. He was up in Sunrise, about a half hour. Right, right. North. I'm, I'm in Boca now. Oh, you're in Boca, yeah. yeah so that, yeah. and I yeah. said to my grandfather, "Hey, come on, it's 3:30. You got to make a decision. That's We're going to miss the early bird." <laughs> That's and right. I and I have the space pen. So I have everything yeah. from that Seinfeld yeah. episode about the early bird. That's right. This is a space pen. He's right about that. And it's right serious. Upside down. It writes upside down. <laughs> It does. This is uh, yeah, one, of the, one of the models I have. Of this wow. Place, right it's upside down. <clears throat> and um, uh, but I don't have my other one, the one with the, the one that they actually used on the mission. I got the oh. inventor of the space pen. I used to work for a magazine called Aviation Week. He oh. checked in at one of our space conferences. So I checked in Buzz Aldrin, Albie, and then the space pen inventor gave me a pen. Cool. So that <clears throat> was great. That All was right. Great. So Jackie Mason, the musical. Very important in Florida. Um, pen. How do you feel now? But wait, the, uh, but the uh, wait, the early birds though. They, uh, what, they got to finish with the early bird. Well, I, I think yeah, she's yeah, yeah, she she gave you a little taste of it. I'm yeah, she no, no, not, a little not the song. I mean, like, what, why the early bird? That was a big part of your. Well, he always day. took you to the early bird. Always yeah, to the early bird. That's a really. Are you saying he was story. cheap? He was cheap. No, I'm not saying he was cheap. Okay. I never got a gift, but he wasn't cheap. In ten years, I never got one gift. Well, one gift. It was a. He gave me a watch. I opened it up. Yeah. It was a broken Mickey Mouse watch. That's in the show too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that, I know. Was it a serious gift? That was a joke gift. No, or? John Woolley was selling watches, and he gave. He said, "Jackie, she'll love this watch." He gave, and Jackie never took a look, never bothered to look at it, and he gave it to me. He says, "I can't believe it. That schmuck." <laughs> <laughs> you, you he good. gives you a watch. The I told me it was great. a good watch. It was a terrible watch. That's funny. broken watch. Never, you know, you know, never, never. But he did have to pay child support, so he made up for it. Yeah, <laughs> I do celebrity impressions, and I got to tell you. That's really good. It's really, it's a little it's obnoxious years, when years, I do it. It's right? a little obnoxious yeah. for, to see me do it myself. Do you do it in the play? No, I'm not in the play. Oh, you're not in the play. I Sheba plays the, her. I oh, play. I know, yeah. I know Sheba's in it, but I thought you were in it also. No, no, I, oh. I wrote it. It's just oh, okay, mine. okay. Um, before we continue, I, I brought the wrong sheets, but I'm going to plug MCN Duck Cleaning as one of our sponsors. Uh, Matt at MCN. If you need your ducks cleaned. Matt. Yeah, uh, call him Matt. Does a great job. He's a big sponsor. We have the number. He, I, I don't, but you can find him these days. You Google, you find. You Get on find the Google, the you Goggle. MCM Duck Cleaning, Matt. He does a wonderful job. He's a wonderful guy. Big oh. supporter. Big supporter right of Laugh to Save right Lives. He's established in 2003, 13 years. Uh, Nassau, Suffolk Nassau County. Suffolk. Residential and commercial. Both 
High quality HVAC cleaning. Top shelf. 631-885-5736. What's that number? 631-885-5736. Give our friend Matt a call. Yeah, give He's our, a great guy. That's what it says. Yeah. So that was a great two two person commercial. We'll do more of that. We'll do more of that tag teaming. Let's get back to Sheba for a second. Now, so you're a young lady growing up. Um, you 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 lost you, you. So you were pregnant. So you didn't know Jackie when you were when you were young. Obviously, um, when did you find out that Jackie was your dad? It's funny. I kind of like grew up with that knowledge. Like I never. You knew it really. You, you don't remember <laughs> not knowing. Yeah, I don't remember not knowing. So you, right up front, you were honest with her. You told her, show well, pictures, or what did you do? You know, my mother was a bit of a yenta. And, uh -huh. like, you know, she, she the, two weeks after she was born, my mother had a party against Jackie's will with a big sign on the front. It said, welcome to the world, Sheba Mason, Jackie Mason's daughter. That's hysterical. You know, like, my, <laughs> That's you know, yenta yeah. calaventa, my mother. May she rest in peace. I love now, were you upset words. with her about I that? Well, I didn't know what to do. All I know is that Jackie called me up furious. Well, he just didn't want people to know. He said, I went to the Rascal House tonight, and everybody comes up to me. You told me you were going to keep this, like, confidential. Yeah. And, he, and he said, and your mother has a party with the sighting. What the, what the, what the, man, he, kept, he called me up like so. I said, look, <laughs> Jackie, I love my mother more than I love you. Right. And I have to honor my mother. That's sure. what the Bible says. Yep. Honor your mother. That's right. Not some guy you slept with. Right. So that's what. So, <laughs> so now you, 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 um. <laughs> This is probably one of our better episodes. Yes. Now the paternity <laughs> suit, though, tell, fill me in here because when you're when you're a suit for paternity is to prove he's the father. So even though it sounds like he knew he was the father at that point, yeah, he never. Or, what, did he know he was the father at that point, or was he just saying why is she saying that? He was one hundred percent sure he was the father. Right. He slept with me right. when I was three weeks. She was she was three weeks do, overdue. Right. Would you sleep with a woman with a belly like this, pregnant, if you weren't the father? Right. You know. So point. he knew he knew one hundred percent he was the like, father. That's a good point. I was hoping you'd move on and not have to answer that question, but thank you. So <laughs> I was waiting for it. Come on, come on, Lynn. All right, so... How about you? Would you sleep with a pregnant woman? Yeah, what, would you? A giant belly that's not your baby? So Come. what's our next commercial? <laughs> <laughs> so you no, would? What's, what's oh it? Oh, my Just, God, you're disgusting. No, we I, didn't I, answer. I, we didn't, I didn't answer. answer. I didn't say a thing. She's calling us disgusting. We didn't answer. <laughs> I don't know show. We didn't answer. Sorry. Well, what, time's up. Funny. Play the music. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Thank you. Good night. No. Back to life. Now. What's, uh, back to life. <laughs> I'm going to need a life back. Um, back life. No, this is hilarious. What I think is, is interesting, and, and uh, people, <laughs> well, when, when I knew you guys were coming on the show, people were saying that it's like they see show business a certain way. They see the movies and everything like that. They all don't the glamour. See all the glamour and everything. They don't see a lot of the stories behind the scenes and us as people and things like that. You know, they just see us as these big stars um, or, or medium stars in my case. They don't see... <laughs> Right. Or small stars. <laughs> no, no, I'm not complete. Not even a no. star. I did with Long Island's no, best impression. Like it's an airplane. Like, you know when you look up, you think right. it's a star? And it's, it's really an airplane. An airplane. It That's wasn't you. Venus. That's you. It was JetBlue 8516. Oh, it's a star. No, that's it, though. Yeah. That's it, though. It's a plane. No, but the people I do are huge. I mean, I do seven presidents. Anyway. Uh, we know. Um, <laughs> but that's what I think is interesting, and that's why it's interesting that you're coming on, because a lot of people that might have seen, you know, Caddyshack 2 and all these movies, don't understand all the other Go things. Go see this, the Jackie Mason musical. go see musical, this musical. Because it really sounds interesting. Uh, plus, uh, she gave me a comp ticket. <laughs> um, but no, go see it, because it, it, you, if, especially if you're older, like my age, you know who Jackie Mason is. This is interesting to see this other side of right. the story, you know, part of the story as to what... You guys live. So we have a question from a, a oh, viewer. Well, there were two, one Who's was the viewer? a comment. Uh, Teresa Farrell. Hi, Teresa. Uh, Teresa asks, how did you originally meet Jackie and how old were you? I think you said a little bit about that. Mom before. or daughter? Daughter. You sure? Oh, wait a second. I'm sorry. I don't know. Well, you both have to answer because we don't okay. know. Well, I think she answered that already. Did you? She kind of, she, okay. she knew. Um, I met him when I was eight. And like I you just went, my that. grandma took me to see his show, right. and I went backstage, and that's how I met him. Oh, now, oh, now she's, she's What's interesting, you said his grandma took you. Yeah. The Yenta. The Yenta. Yeah. The, right? She well, that wanted was... me to see his show. Teresa, like, Teresa clarified, how old were you when you met Jackie, and how did you meet him? How did you meet okay, him? Okay, well, the year was 19. Did you woo him? No. Okay. I never even heard of him when I met him. 
I was sitting um, at the Rascal House Delicatessen, and I had just moved to Miami Beach, Florida with my mother. The year was 1977, so I was like two. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> and I was, you know, and a woman came over to the table. She said, you want to meet Jackie Mason to me? And my mother said, Jackie Mason, of course she does, certainly. And I walked over to a tape. We walked over. I guess it was a little older than two. You know, somewhere older at the time than Brooke Shields and younger than... Um, I got you. You know, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Look, I'm not old enough to run for president, in case you want to know, Yenta. But um, <laughs> um, the thing is, he said, do you want to meet... So he said, so are you in Miami a long time? And my mother said, we just moved here three days ago. I love your act. I've always been a great fan of yours. <laughs> He said, thank you, thank you, you're no dummy. Then he said to me, so, what do you do for a living? And my mother said, my daughter is a teacher of the hearing impaired who belly dances on the side. He said, she must also be ventriloquist. I ask her a question that comes out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that scene is in the show. Yeah. That's in the play? And that's yeah. how, and that's that's how awesome. you met Jackie Mason. Who plays Jackie Mason in the, in the, in the a play? A Long Islander. A Long, he lives in Long Island. His name is David R. Gordon. Okay. He plays Jackie Mason. Actor. Yeah. And, and does he play him, uh, does he look like him in the play? Does he really look like him he, or he just plays? He, he looks, he, he looks like a shadow of him. Okay. You know, like, right. like you know, he, he doesn't look like you. Right, you know, He looks like a, sh yeah. <laughs> well, he, he looks, he's handsome too. But, you know, like he, um, he looks like a shadow of him. You know? what, wait, what did you mean by he, he, he doesn't, oh, he doesn't look like you. Okay, I thought you said he I doesn't think it's look like no, I would take I it as a compliment. Yeah, I'm going to take it as a compliment. All right. Yeah, he's better looking than Jackie Mason, you know. Okay. It's Hollywood. You know, hollywood -izing it. All right, so mm -hmm. now let's get, now, how does it feel playing your mom? Like, w when you play your mom, do you actually think, I want to be like my mom in this play, or are you just playing the mom? Um, that's a good question. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I'm, um, I can sort of understand through playing her why she liked him, you know, like why she, why he was so like, why she was so sort of like struck by him because right. he's so different from everybody else, mm -hmm. you know, um, do I want to be like her? <laughs> no, I wasn't going to ask that question. I, I don't think you should ask that question either. Um, um, no, I mean, you know, she's, um, was really, uh, ladylike, you know, not like today. But she was, so, um, you know, it's a really unusual experience playing your mother. You know, going yeah. through this. You know, it would this, be for me, yeah. <laughs> so it's you know, I've it's an interesting. It. Like you know, I can kind of see like why she liked him and go through the whole journey with her. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So where are you looking to bring Jackie Mace to the musical this time? You're doing it. Well, right now we're courting investors for you know the big time. And we've already done it off Broadway, and then we did it in Chicago, we did it in Florida. It's always sold out. It's doing well, but like I've never really, you know, when you try to get bigger investors, it's that whole nother business. Mm. They don't just show up and say, "Oh, gee, I'm putting your show here, I'm putting your show right. there." You have to court them. You have to know. Sure. Yeah, there's all kinds of forms you got to fill out. You actually have right. to take the time to read. I'm just so busy doing the show, yeah. and I'm not really not into that. <clears throat> well, you it's need the somebody to side as opposed to the creative it's side. The yeah. um, side. Um, uh, I don't want to talk about me again, but we're working on a screenplay now where we, oh. you know, uh, suspenders is the working title, but it's about my life pre 9/11. Yeah. Being a fireman, comedy, doing my radio show with my ex partner who I lost on 9/11. Yeah. And then when I went through on 9/11, we lost 19 members of my house on 9/11. Wow. And then how we use laughter to partially recover in my house, at my home, in my firehouse, at home, getting back on stage, doing the show again without him. And we're, it's hard to get people to get through that first stage. You need money to get, there, there's you money out there. Money. You need front money. Yes, right. he, we, we, he's calling it uh, the right angel, angel investors. I don't know that's, if that's the term yes. that's popular, but uh, very, very hard. Well, you know, you know, the thing is, is like, you're the, this script seems so relevant to me that if you send it out, it wouldn't be stolen because it has to be, you know, they steal a lot of things mm. once you send it out. But it has to be you because you lived it. So right. even if you send it out to the bigger places where they tell you, you know, where you can do it, they won't steal it from you. They can't. So you're right. going to protect it. Oh, and I do have it registered. We, I have, do have, it registered. we yeah. have a contingency against the theft. You do? Yeah. Yeah. We've, there's some people that aren't in the business anymore. <laughs> because they stole. Really? Like this guy that stole Chip's Cooney's act. Don't think he's getting back to Israel alive. Wait, 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 We're going to well, take care we'll, of that. We'll talk about that well, that's, that's offline. Let's talk more to Sheep. He ain't going to make it back. <laughs> All right, no, no, so. we're very upfront about it. As it's, a, it's a good um, uh, preventative. Uh, we have anything on social media? <laughs> 
Do you, I, I know your mic is off. Social right? media. Do you have a question that you've th been thinking about? Yeah. All right. All right. So let, nope, let's. No, that was the only question was from <laughs> Teresa. So Teresa is the winner of some prize that we'll have to come up with in the future. We'll give her two tickets to. <laughs> two tickets to see what? Uh, just to have her email me um, or message me on Facebook. We'll give her two tickets to a show. Okay. Maybe the next show she is on with us. <laughs> that would is she be on perfect. A show not now, but she's complimented me so many times that uh, we gotta put her on a show. Yeah, we'll be talking tomorrow. We'll be talking tomorrow. Cool. And she's so funny. The show's gonna be fantastic. So <laughs> now, really oh, it's really good. Good, yeah. good question. Good question. Well, I don't know if it's a good question. So now you've done shows. Well, now, now Pat has a question. Oh, Pat has a question. You've done you've done many shows, and people know. Low in batteries. fact, you say that your act. Um, I didn't think you did, but the last show you did, you did mention that you're she, uh, Jackie. It Mason depends thought. where I am. Right, you right. know, like I'll say it if they, if I feel like you know they'll know who he is. Does <laughs> and, and has anybody ever come up to you after the show and said? Yes, everybody comes up to me and what says. What kind of kooky things? Yeah, I know someone who slept with your father. I no. was with your father. I know him. I saw him on the street. Everybody has a Jackie Mason story. Really. Yeah. Really? Which is cool because um, that he slept with shows all that he was around. <laughs> <laughs> My sister's daughter's aunt. So everybody either knows him somehow, knew him somehow, you know, usually yeah. in the biblical sense. And it's interesting that you said you don't think he has any other children. Well, there's no sure that of that? He, well, you know, I've heard rumors. Right. He might have them every generation. Right. You know, she, right. she might have somebody 20 years older than her and 20 years older than that. Right. You know, he might. You hear rumors, but I'm the only one who went to court and proved it. Right. Everybody mm -hmm. else just says it. Nobody else was unclassy enough to go to court except for me. I don't, call, I don't, <laughs> well, I don't think, think that's, that's unclassy, unclassy at all. Yeah, all right. well, thank I don't you. think that's unclassy at all. You know, and I'm just, if you're, if you're a father, you got to... Do what you're supposed to do, and if you're right. not doing it, then... Right, I think your situation to be a dad, to be there, a hands-on dad with your wife, is ideal. It's exhausting. I don't con it's exhausting. It's, uh, yeah, but it's, it's more exhausting <laughs> to be a single yeah. parent. You yeah. Know? Oh, I definitely. Saw, oh, I, I, saw I, I that. mean that, yes. I mean, I did get I'm married now, but like, you know, it's, I mean, don't think I condone this way of life. It's not a great way of life, right. you know? It's hard. You know? um, do you have your mic on, Pat? No, I'll, I'll put it on. She did get married when I was 15. Sheba, I got one question. Um, <laughs> Just so you know. Pat G is off camera. Pat G has a question for Sheba. Sheba, um, your dad is obviously, from what you told us, has not been in your life. Do you find it difficult sometimes doing the play when your dad, you know, um, and, and bringing up a lot of silly, happy times and everything? Is it a little difficult for you right. in a way? Well, because he hasn't been there for you? I mean, from what you told general, us. Or in general, how about Pat in general? Without, without, I don't mean to bring the, you down, but without a dad. I mean, do you ever go, geez, I wish I had a dad? Yeah. Well, yeah. I, you know, I, I went through that phase a lot, you know, like when I was a kid and I used to see dads throw their kids in the pool right. and stuff like that. I'll throw you my pool if you come over. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, I live, I live 10 minutes away. Come on, throw it. You and your mom, I'll throw your mom in too. <laughs> it's a very nice pool. I you. might take you over the thing. <laughs> but then, you know, you get over it. It's like kind of like you just become immune. You know, yeah, I'm really. It's your way of life. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking a lot of people are going to the show and laughing and everything, and, and maybe is, is there a part of you that says, yeah, but this really wasn't what it was like, well, kind of thing. You know, I really and, had and, a and really you don't good. Have to no, I don't mind answering. I had a really good childhood. You know, I mean, okay. the child support. I did have dancing lessons, singing lessons. Okay. You know, grandma, my grandma was like right. a father to me. She even had the beard. You know, I say that in my head. <laughs> and like, you know, I had. Is she like, Italian? <laughs> <laughs> Might as well have been. She's very, very hairy woman. But the thing is, <laughs> <laughs> oh, grandma's not watching. So she's dead. But she's dead. All right, you can talk about it. <laughs> but, you know, right. It was a nice life, and um, you know, a lot of people have it so much worse. You know, right. so I just right. look at them, and when I see them. I feel better about myself. Right. For our Florida <laughs> viewers, what's the name of that deli? Is it still there? Is that the Rascal it's House? So, it's so hard to find good kosher deli in Florida. Right, the Rascal House was the big one, and I we it, the whole show takes place in the Rascal. In the Rascal House, yes. the Jackie Mason musical. So again, uh, where is it playing, ladies? It's playing Studio Theater, one forty one Wellwood Avenue. That's not far from here at all. Lindenhurst. Lindenhurst. I'm actually really happy though that she can like take the play and make it. You know, point out all the fun things about it instead of just right. kind of like languishing and being bitter and like, you know, well, you it know was fun. Okay. It was love, you know. It's kind of like what we do, laugh to save lives. 
We say, you know, we're taking, we're, 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 it's born out of 9-11, and we're saying, what a great way to remember people. The that guys seems lost like a hit to me. By Your making people laugh. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll talk. We'll talk. That's his company, right. too. We'll Our producer is giving us the high the signal. Sign. What, what, what do we got? 30 so seconds, 10 seconds. So we're just going to say the, the JackieMasonMusical.com. We want to thank Sheba and Ginger for coming thank in. Thank Thanks you. for having us. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And for I want to thank on. John for remembering Ginger's name because I screwed it up. Yep. Well, I just put thank the Gilligan's you, Island thing in my head. Oh, there I, you go. Yeah. See? There you go. That's <laughs> how you remember names. You have to do thank something. Thank Patty G for coming down tonight and helping us produce the show. Um, we'll see you. We may skip next week. Thank um, you, Master Peak with Diana for sending over the, the um, cardiac food. And thank you, Life Vac, and congratulations yes, another life on another life really? saved. Good night, everybody. We're going to the Master Peak with Dinah. Good Master night. Peak with Dinah. Master Peak with Dinah. Master Peak with Dinah. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. That's how Good job, ladies. Yeah, have fun. Come on, nice. Good. Very relaxed. And you have fun.